Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about inverse kinematics, why you need it, and just offer you a couple of uh, tips that perhaps you might not have uh, thought about before when you use it. So, what is inverse kinematics? Inverse kinematics is a feature which can be turned on by right clicking on a figure and then activating here. And you can activate it for each of the four limbs. I'm going to activate it here for the right leg. And when activated, it enables you to grab the foot or the hand and move it such that the interconnected body parts all move as well without requiring posing. So here, I've, I've just uh, switched on the right leg. If I grab the right foot now and move it, you would see how that the shin and the thigh move automatically. Okay, not necessarily perfectly, but you, you have to use it judiciously. If you compare that to the left foot, and uh, the observant of you may notice that I've got uh, IK Master running here. That's uh, IK Manager, which is uh, one of Ken 1171's features. Um, I've discussed Ken a lot recently, but, uh, you know, he does make good scripts. So, you can see here, in actual fact, this is a bug in, in IK Master because it hasn't picked up the fact that I've already turned uh, kinematics on. It only works if I use his program to do it. So let me turn that on, off rather. And now if I do it here, it will remember. So I've got the same setting, but it goes through his program. That's a that's a, a flaw in his program. But if I, if I have it not switched on here for the left foot, if I grab the left foot, so I've got move selected here, translate, pull. If I try and move that, See, none of that stuff kind of moves very naturally without kinematics turned on. Right, so it has many useful features. I'm just going to turn this off here and uh, show you some features. So I just demonstrated with the leg how easy it can be to move to move a leg. I just turn it on here for the... I just turn it on here for the right leg. I grab the foot and then I just move the foot around like that by the way if you're a long time poser users you might notice there when i went to select it see the uh, the back foot has been selected one of the features that they added in i think nine or ten is that you right select just right click there and then you can select from from the different objects in in actual fact it's not working well there usually it will pick up it will give you a choice oh yeah here we go select and it will allow you to select anything that was directly beneath the cursor so i'll put the cursor here so underneath the cursor here we've got the right foot the left foot and the background so i'll right select here shows currently selected is the left foot if i go select now i can select oh okay i, I don't know why it did uh, okay maybe currently highlighted is left foot and now i can select right foot and now when i move that foot is selected but um one thing that you might need to be aware of is if the limb is very very straight and there are no bends in the joint sometimes kinematics can produce some weird effects where okay i can't make it do it now but sometimes the joint will actually bend back the wrong way uh, i mean ignore that thing with the foot there because the what it's not going to do it's not going to change the rotation of the ankle joint or the or the wrist joint which is good usually but obviously there are positions here that that position here that ankle angle is not achievable in real life unless you've had a horrific accident so sometimes what you might need to do is put a little bend in the in the joint before you start moving just to make sure that it moves in the direction you want so there's already a, a seven degree bend here and that's enough so that when I, I grab that the knee bends forwards and not backwards um, and, and then you would probably go around here and have to adjust this angle here just move it side to side and then that's more natural now compare that process here to uh, doing it manually so in this case I'm going to use the direct manipulation tool which is actually the quickest way of doing it so I'm going to put a bend in the thigh then I'm going to change, going to put a bend in the shin. That's pretty easy because the the leg 
has relatively few bends and and twists that uh, that you're likely to use but when it comes to to the arm where there's shoulders and um and uh forearms and whatever this piece is called what's that called shoulder collar forearm then it can get really quite complicated and i'm going to demonstrate that but first of all i'm just going to reset that figure back down okay so we're in a forward angle here and i've prepared two squares on either side so imagine that i want to put this hand against flat against this wall maybe he's leaning against the wall so if i don't have kinematics turned on so everything is turned off here what i'm going to have to do is manually work out what bends i need to do to get that hand to position against this wall so the first thing i'm going to need to do is put something some kind of bend in the shoulder so okay maybe not that way maybe okay we'll do the forearm first uh so bit of a forearm bend okay now that's uh that needs to go back somewhat so which direction is back is it front to back front to back yeah uh, okay so now i'm going to need to bend this a bit more oops now i've got this see what i mean it gets it gets to be a pain in the butt okay and that's pretty good and now i need to just move this okay except obviously that is an unnatural position so what i'm going to need to do now is is put in a twist up here in the shoulder and then i'm going to have to bend that and it gets really it gets really complicated doing it manually now compare that i'm just going to undo that now compare that to turning kinematics on so i'll turn it on with the right arm grab the hand okay i'm gonna i'm gonna switch back to translate i don't like the direct uh selection tool so i'm gonna grab the hand right arm kinematics turned on and now i can just move that to there so that angle is still not very natural and it's probably yep it's a bit too close to the body there move that back a bit now i'm just going to have to drop that shoulder down probably adjust the collar as well so let's rotate that shoulder lift the collar and there you are you have something kind of reasonable i'd, I'd probably have to twist the hand a little bit as well just to make that make that look a bit more natural so now let me show you another advantage of kinematics and that is the ability to hold a limb part while you move the rest of the body so i'm just going to uh open up uh, uh, apply a pose so let's apply a walking pose here and i'm just going to shut down that so you can't see them right okay so we've got a pose here don't, don't know why he's turned but let's uh, select that twist his body so he's just taking a little step there now imagine that i want his body to turn but i want that foot to stay in place so i select that foot apply kinematics to the left leg so that foot is now locked in place now this can be great when you've got um when you've positioned a hand onto something say um a piece of furniture maybe he's picking up a chair or something or maybe he's uh, uh he's holding a, a gun uh you know like a cannon firing mechanism or something and you, you've spent ages positioning the hand uh, let's actually do that with a hand as well so we we position the hand here rotate that up so there's some kind of handle he's got his hand on i'm going to twist the forearm there you go he's, he's got he's got his hand on a on a push chair say okay so that's great but then suddenly we want to we want to turn his body so that his body's over here well look if i turn his body if i grab his hip here and turn normally that hand moves with it so now it's disconnected from the thing that i carefully posed it on so if i turn on kinematics for that arm so that's the right arm turn that on so now that hand is locked in place as is the left foot so watch when i now rotate the hip 
Okay, that's not entirely natural, but you know, small degrees could be very useful. Another great time to use that, let me turn off that arm and I'm going to apply a pose. Okay, so what I have here is a pose, it's a karate pose uh, called square stance or shikudach. If I apply that to him, okay, let's just go to the front. Oh, no, he's not, he's twisted for some reason. Okay. It's that other pose turned him around it annoys me when poses apply full body rotation um, usually done by the hip because you, you really want them to be unless they're designed to fit into a specific set location you want poses to be position and angle neutral um, okay so anyway we have a we have a, a pose here it's a karate pose and if I apply uh, kinematics to both legs here's a really great feature of kinematics if I now grab the hip see how that acts as a lock it's locked the um, some weird stuff going on with his glutes in the middle there is kind of yeah anyway um, but it excuse me it acts as a it acts as a lock to the feet so it's very very easy to move the body around and the feet stay in place where, wherever you put them in the set and let me show you another situation where we could do that yeah well i'll, I'll do a, a kind of a walking pose and then i'll bring some stairs into it so you can see so walking poses there okay yet again this annoying pose set from whoever walking m4 pose set has added rotation into the mix which is very annoying it's added a hip rotation i'm assuming yet yeah, idiots put Hit rotation okay I tried to rotate that but the legs were locked in place right so if I turn that back to here now I want to show you something cool if I bring a set of stairs into the scene so here so I can then very quickly either create a walk cycle so if I put kinematics on both legs now now look if I if I flatten this ankle out look how easy it is now to climb a flight of stairs just by just by having that lot so the rest of the body didn't move I've just moved that that leg across and now I want to bring this one up it's already flat so I bring it up to here uh, the body's all over the place just grab the hip and Look how much easier that is than trying to mess about changing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lots of uh, body parts, angles, twists, rotations, side to side, all of the stuff I'd had to do. And instead I did it in five, five mouse clicks. So um, there are some situations when you want to be careful with, um, with kinematics. Uh, I already talked about the weird way that it can... Uh, you can get confused where your side to side and your twist rotation on on your hands and feet can get messed up when you when you apply kinematics and that can be caused by um, let's uh, rotate this wrist now rotate the hands okay so that's twist but look if I do a bend here okay so that's up and down now I put kinematics on and do the same bend see that's not moving in the same angle anymore at all yeah so you, you it's kind of it gets a bit confusing uh, so you just need to be careful of that um now i personally never save poses or figures with kinematics turned on uh, I don't know if they fixed it, but in the previous versions of Poser, uh, what what could happen is that that could screw up your save file. So and it could just screw up your poses when you came back in. So t even if they've fixed it now, I, I've just got in the habit of never saving. Um, incidentally, if you're going to position a foot relative to the floor here, just remember to bury the foot a little bit so that so that it's not floating above the floor um, now there's one more thing I'm just going to turn everything off you may be aware that there's a feature called lock so if I lock this this uh, shoulder joint here right click 
and then uh, select lock object so if I did figure it do the whole figure but object does the body part in theory what that does is locks that relative to the parent so this angle this rotation all of that is now fixed and you can't you can't change it see here I can't twist it but in, in reality that's not you know it's not completely locked so that's where kinematics kinematics is, is a better solution than locking in my opinion okay guys uh, hopefully that gave you some interesting ideas so just to refresh you can use kinematics as an easy way to move body parts around you can use kinematics as an easy way to lock body parts and when you're locking you can use it as a great way to then move the rest of the body and leave the locked body part in place whilst you then and just uh, one more quick example here left uh, right arm locked turn that left arm off and I'll just grab this hip and look that arm stays there it can't um it can't come off that object unless you move beyond the range of the of the limb in which case see that that kind of uh, outline there showing where it came from okay so um very useful feature i suggest that you uh use it and hopefully you found this interesting thanks guys